Hello everybody, my name is Jim Palisano and I'm with Herbal Balance for Life. Today I'd like to give you a little uh, brief summary on how we go about making SAAC tea. Uh, and you probably notice that I'm outside right now, which is unusual because normally when you're making SAAC tea, people usually do it in the kitchen. And I remember the very first time that I was going to do the tea, my wife asked me if it was going to smell. And she sort of got the impression that it would be sort of like uh, chocolate chip cookies just coming out of the oven, you know, but it, not really, it didn't happen that way. So when she smelled it, she told me to get out and don't do this anymore in the kitchen. So uh, I was concerned because she told me that if I did it again, she was going to have me kidnapped, transported to Guantanamo Bay and have me waterboarded. So from that point, I decided, you know, I think I'll try it outside. So, what we have here is a good old-fashioned American barbecue that we can actually cook on. We have a, a, a burner over here on this side so we can boil the water. So let me tell you what you need first, okay? First of all, you need the SEAC tea. They're packaged in one-ounce packets, and one packet will make one quart of SEAC tea. So you need to have a, a Crystal Lake or any brand of distilled water. Here's a gallon of distilled water, and it's like a dollar, okay? So it's gonna last you for four quarts. And then you need to have a glass container to store the product in the refrigerator, okay? It has to be, it has to really be glass, okay? You can use a glass joint, one, a glass jar with a, um, a plastic cap, that's okay too, because you need to shake it or, in our case, stir it. Gotta have a measuring cup. We wanna put in 32 ounces of water. Now, what we would recommend is that when you put in a quart of water, we'd like to put in about three or four ounces more to make up for the evaporation, you know, for the, the, when it starts boiling. So we're going to start now by taking a, a pot, and the pot has to be either stainless steel, which this is, uh, it could be a glass pot, like a Pyrex pot, or it could be an enamel pot, but you cannot use aluminum, okay? And for our friends in the UK, I meant to say an aluminium. So what we're going to do is take a package and we're going to open this package and put it in the boiling water. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to stir it up in the hot water. And... Let it start, I'm gonna cut, that, cut the heat down and let it simmer for three or four minutes. So let me cut this down. Okay, we're gonna let it simmer for three or four minutes. Okay, and after three or four minutes, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off and we're gonna leave it outside uncovered for 12 hours. So when you're doing this project, my recommendation is do it like at 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. So about by 8 or 9 o'clock at night, it's all finished and it's nice and cold and you can take it and pour it into your glass and store it in the, uh, in the fridge. So uh, we'll just pretend for a second that 12 hours has elapsed, okay? And what we're going to do now is we're going to stir it up again to make sure that the herbs are floating in the water. Okay, and we're going to take this and we're going to pour it in our glass container. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Okay, this is going to go in the fridge. And remember, when you go to drink this, you should need to stir it up, take a stainless steel spoon if you want, stir it up so that the herbs are in suspension, then measure out one or two ounces and take it on a daily basis. Two ounces in the morning, two ounces in the evening is the normal dosage. Uh, our SEAC is available in uh, sets of four packets, eight packets, or 16 packets. And always it's free freight for shipping. So that's what we're doing. We're cooking outside. We're doing Essiac outside. No fuss, no muss. Well, we scare away some of the wildlife with the smell, but other than that, they'll come back as soon as we bring it in the put it in the refrigerator. So thank you for watching this little video. We appreciate it, and here's to you. Bye-bye now.